eight out of ten that people who die in hurricane related deaths are actually caused by water it's caused by flooding storm surge um, people not evacuating the coastal areas and the waters rise faster than they were expecting look at hurricane harvey in 2017 look at the 2016 louisiana floods it happened almost overnight that these areas that were not in a flood prone area actually got flooded. We also know that floods are the most costly and deadliest disasters in the United States. So taking hurricanes and tropical storms out of the equation, flooding is your most costly and deadliest disaster. A lot of people do that and it actually is not recommended at all because it ends up that if you have uh, something that a projectile that is going to hit your window a is going to hit the window and it's going to shatter into bigger pieces that could actually cause more bodily harm if it's taped we recommend having plywood and or hurricane shutters so do not tape your windows tropical storms really can pack up a huge punch and a lot of times they'll bring in a lot of moisture and they'll stall um, so uh, one story that that i hear often is um, oh, it's just a tropical storm. It's fine. You can continue business as normal. In 2001, tropical storm Allison affected Texas and Louisiana's coastline. I was in coastal Louisiana. My boss told me to drive to New Orleans to the Army Corps of Engineers. And so I drove and I got about 10 minutes outside New Orleans when the flood levels started rising and uh, my car went floating. And so the Army Corps of Engineers had to get a boat to come and get me and I ended up hunkering down and they're building for a couple days until the waters receded. So a tropical storm is needs to be taken as seriously as a hurricane. For hurricane preparedness kits, I there are two websites I recommend. One is ready.gov run by FEMA. They have a great website and not only does it give you a personal kit, but also for dealing if you have pets or taking care of someone with special needs, there's extra lists that go into that. Um, but then also Florida specific, there's floridadisaster.org, and that has a great website that gives you a printable PDF list of things to include in your kit. One thing I would highly recommend though, is to get out of our heads the idea that we need to create a kit within one week or create a kit the day before the storm's supposed to affect your community. And so what we really advise everyone to do is every time you go to the grocery store, pick up one little extra thing, uh, whether it's an extra case of batteries, whether it's an extra jug of water, and that way you are working on your kit throughout the year and you're not making that mad dash rush to Publix when, or to Walmart when there's no bread and no water and everybody's freaking out. one piece of advice for anyone getting ready to prepare for a hurricane is to have a plan. Every time you go to the grocery store, you should be picking up one more thing for your kit or your go bag. So not having a plan is, is one of the worst things that you can do. So my best piece of advice is to have a plan.